this is Game Guy 682 and I'm going to do a review two games actually Super Mario Bros and Super Mario Bros The Lost Levels which in Japan is known as Super Mario Bros 2 let's start with, with Super Mario Bros 2 well it's Super Mario Bros this game is the classic Mar like Super Mario Bro Brothers which everyone knows and loves in this one you have two you have two options. You have single player and one player, which you navigate by holding minus because I'm using the Wii on its side. And yeah, you hold minus to change to one player or two player. And the second player the first player player is Mario, second player is Luigi, and in first player you're always Mario. There's not enough there's no difference in this game whatsoever. Doesn't matter who you are you both get the exact same abilities, except Luigi's just a different color, except when you're fire. Um, you can this game, because it's an NES game, if you click home and cl and click view menu, and then go back in, you'll start where you where you go where you left off with playing home. So let's start it up. Do single player, and you move by using the D-pad with left and right. I beat the game, so there's no more Goombas. Um, as you can see, there's a Sir Mushroom, and then now I can duck. Holding one is run. Holding two is jump. Now this is a fire flower. Now to do fires, you just press the run button. Every hundred coins is an extra life, and there is a total of eight worlds, which everyone should know, and each consisting of four levels. And now I have star power, and I'm in invincibility. Like ah, I'm invincible. Well, not, yeah, whatever. I just can't get hit. But you can still die when you have star power if you fall off the edge. Um, to go into warp pipe, you press down. If it's a warp pipe that let you. And here, you run and you jump. I missed it. Uh, you get time. And you have to beat the level within that time or you lose a life and you have to start over. There are checkpoints, but you have to die for them. Um, as you can see, the score based system is okay. Like, it goes until you die and it records it until you turn off the power which will cause the game to forget every memory which sucks so it means if I turn off the power right now I won't be it won't ha it'll have room with the seven those people which would be great but I don't want to change it um, if you find this game a little bit too easy and you want to just see how long you can do as a survival there is a negative one glitch like the minus road glitch. It um, actually involves some skill because I have done it. I have done it before. So yeah, um, another way to get um, lives in this game while I was counter is this life mushroom. It gets you one life, and I'll do a demonstration of warp pipe. Just bounce. Only big Mario can break blocks, as many of you know. There are secret zones. Oh, I died. Um, there are secret zones in this, which is our, which is great. You can finish the game faster, but most people just like recommend just finishing it. All the levels and stuff, like as just for fun. To get a negative roll, you gotta break all these blocks except this one. And then you have to jump perfectly and do that. But I can't do it because I'm not Big Mario. There is um, 
little trick in this. I can't do it because I'm not big Mario. But if you hold one and two and move, you'll slide on one foot. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to Mario Bros. I'll just continue playing it until either I die or get to the boss. Oh, I'm dead, okay. Wow, I suck. Um, this game is easy. A gamer like myself can easily beat it. Today I can't, but... That's my fault. Um, no, I'll just continue. So yeah, that game's pretty straightforward. Jump, get to the end, and finish it. Um, each end, there's a Bowser that you can kill by a fire, or um, go into the end and get the hammer and killing him. Now, Super Mario Bros. 2 pretty much plays the same. And what I should say right now about the controllers, you can use any controller for any NES game. The Wii Mode inside I prefer because it's an NES game, and yeah. No, I haven't beat this game, so just so you know, but it's pretty simple. It's basically got everything exact same. It's more like a Super Mario Bros. one hack. The only thing that's different is that they added poison mushrooms, and the super mushrooms are different, and it's a lot harder than the original. There's also nine worlds in this one, and uh, to get to the nine, the ninth, the ninth world, you. You have to play the whole game. Well, teleport or anything. And this game is a lot harder. Yeah, so yeah, I already said that. But this game is a lot harder. And there are warp pipes that will take you back to World 1. And you can't take any warp pipes if you want to get to World 9. Uh, but yeah, this game is an awesome game for a challenge. The original Super Mario Bros. game is worth, this costs 500 V points. This one costs 6 because it's an imported game because we never actually got it here in North America. Except in Super Mario All Stars. The only thing that, yeah, this game is pretty much the same. Except the clouds have eyes now. Or I probably didn't miss, or I probably missed that in the original one. I didn't even know I made it up there. Okay, now, as I should say, I'm Mario right now. And I don't want to get, like, go back and try and get all the way back here again. So I'm just going to. Okay, where am I? I'm just going to say this quick. You can play Luigi in this game, it's only a one player game. You can play Luigi. The difference is he's if you he slides longer, so if you stop, he's gonna slide a little bit longer than Mario, but he jumps high. This is where he actually really stands out. So yeah, this is an awesome game. It's challenging, so if you work the if you want to challenge, you can do it. So you get the now it's got game over. In the original one, you can you have to start over again unless you do a little a little like cheat and get back there. But when you beat the game, you can change the world. I'm assuming that's what's happening in this one. You can change the world after you beat it. But, um... I'm glad they gave you a game over where you continue and try. Or try me and start all the way at the beginning. Continue means start from that world, which I'm going to click continue, because I don't want to go back. Uh... So, yeah, um... That pretty much explains... Samara Bros. 1 and 2. Or should I say Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, which is two in Japan, so yeah. Whee. I'm just gonna beat this level. No, I'm not gonna get that poison mushroom. Now I'll just.
not die. If you're an awesome, if you like the original Super Mario Bros. and a Mario fan, or a Mario fan, or just want a good game, you should check out both these games. If you want a challenge, check out this one first. But yeah, the story is exactly the same as the original. The original is just it's ma like so classic, so awesome. Up, oh, died. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna stop right there. Well. This has been my review of Super Mario Bros. 1 and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, which is Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan. So yeah, um, if you liked my videos, you should you should sub ah, you should subscribe to me, which would be awesome, because I want subscribers. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, but yeah, um, that's my review of Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Thank you for listening to my review and watching. Bye.